Hello and welcome to the video. Today's video is going to be show wow, is going to be me showing you all of my projects. Things that I have not finished. And let me tell you, there's a lot. And I also have more. But we're just going to stick with these two bags for now. Okay, <clears throat> let's get straight into it. The first thing we have that I have not finished are these two pieces of cardigans. I already have the sides sewed on. And I have two of them. I'm not entirely sure why I didn't finish it. Maybe because I don't know what to do next. I just need to look up a video. And also this took forever. So I think maybe that deterred me from wanting to finish it. Because I was like, it's so time consuming. But yet, I started a new one yesterday with a smaller type of yarn. So it's going to take longer. So my thought process does not make any sense, my friends. I also have... Um, these bra cups that I never bought the color, I ran out of the color of yarn that I needed and I needed to buy more, but I didn't. So now I just have these bra cups sitting in my bag. Next is this purse that I made and I even added rose buttons, but I wanted to do a strap and I just never finished it. And I also don't like the way that the little... <clears throat> button holders catch on the buttons so I don't even know if I like these buttons on there and I'm not sure if I like how they look with it so I just never finished it because I was like I don't know I don't know and I also have this heart top <coughs> sorry this yarn when I bought it it smells like mildew and I'm contemplating throwing this away I just need to wash it and see if it still smells disgusting it's completely done. I just have not put it up anywhere because it smells gross. But the pattern, the, the colors are really pretty. But it's exactly like this. It's just a different color palette. I think I'm going to put this on the floor instead because it has a really bad smell. And I forgot about that. Next, we have a cone and a top. This literally looks almost finished. Are you kidding me? Wow. I have like two more rows left and then the straps and then it's done. Why didn't I... F this is what I'm saying. I constantly start new projects and I don't finish... The and I'm pretty sure this is my size too. Yeah, it's my size. So I could literally have a top right now. But instead I want to be a crybaby. My God, Rihanna, get it together. Sorry. This is probably just going to be me complaining to myself. Like, get your life together. You know what I mean? Next, 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 we have another cone, pink cone this time. Let's see what the project is. I don't know. I think it's a sleeve. Yeah, I think it's a sleeve because this is kind of like cuffed at the top. It's not for my size though because it's too small. But the problem is with these like work in progresses, I don't know what pattern I use, so how am I supposed to finish it? I might have to frog it. I don't know. Leave your thoughts in the comments. Maybe you can help me figure out what to do with it. All right, next is this. Oh my gosh. I started this because I was going to make it for my mom. It's like a vest. If I recall correctly, it goes like that? I think so. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. But I just never finished it, so now I have two vest pieces. <laughs> just, it's just never ending. Oh, okay. So this was when I was making baby clothes for um, my friend's sister. I think I just realized it was way too big and so I restarted it and then just left this one <laughs> left this one like that so I'll probably just unravel that and um, make something else instead because it's just you know oh my god this was from Christmas okay so I've finished 
I'm getting it all over the floor. I completely finished this beanie. And all I had to do <clears throat> was secure the top, right? And then fold it over into a folded up beanie, you know, like that. I th No, I think I had to do a few more rows. That's why I didn't finish it. But, like, I love the two-toned beanie type situation. Well, I really just made a mess of it. I'm not really sure if I'm going to ever finish that one. We'll see, I guess. All right, let's go to the next one. Okay, this one's it's very purple. Okay, let's see here. Okay, so it's a top for sure. It's not my size because it's... So, okay, so it's like halfway done. I need to add a few more rows and then do the strap. So it's not far off from being finished. See, this is what I mean. Like, I start stuff and then I fit, stop. And I'm like, oh, I don't feel like doing it anymore. And I stop, like, right before it's done. <laughs> like, something's mentally wrong with me. It's fine. Everything's fine. Oh, we have a strap that I started. For what? I don't know. Look at how detailed this strap is. I even put it on an O-ring. I think that's what they're called. I just never finished it. Why am I like this? And what was this strap for? Because it's ridiculously long. It's very long. I don't know. So we have that. <clears throat> Next we have... Oh, I think I was making hand warmers, and I made one, but I didn't finish the other one, so this is what that is. This yarn is really sparkly. I am obsessed with it. Okay, next. We have another cone. I'm not entirely sure what this is. Maybe a halter top, from like starting from the up, down to... Starting from the top to the bottom, I'm pretty sure it's a halter top, yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I don't really know though, but. The problem with those is they take forever, especially with single crochets. Oh my god, this one is the most depressing one because I was so excited that I finished it because it was my first tapish tapestry crochet sweater ever it was my first one and I was so excited about it and I made the front panel and then I went to make the back and I realized I made it in the wrong size and so I had to restart and I just didn't have the goal in it I just didn't have the patience to restart it so I just didn't but anyway this is the front it's very cute I'm obsessed with it the little clouds, a little moon. The moon's a little misshapen, but I mean, for my first project, it's not horrible. And then some mountains and then some trees. It's very cute. And then the back is <clears throat> just like all purple and then like the three color stripes in the back. Or four color stripes. Yeah. And it's just, but it's just like one size um, bigger than the other one. So basically, I'm halfway done making two sweaters. <laughs> and then the last thing in this box... <clears throat> is a bunch of these strips which I remember what this is for thankfully it was to make a bag because if you lay them out in a certain way it folds up into a bag I don't know how to explain it but I thought it would be really a really cute palette like a cute color palette and I wasn't wrong put this away real quick and then we'll start the second bag. I think I'll just do the next bag in another video because the video is already getting pretty long. So, yeah. Uh, maybe not the next video because I want to do like a tutorial or like a vlog or something. But you'll see all of this soon. And until then, uh, I hope you guys like the video and I hope you guys leave some cute little comments in below. Um... Hope to see you soon. I'm constantly making things, as you can see. So I'm sure I'll be making a vlog soon. Bye!